Hello, welcome to our unique learning system math lesson. My name is Charlotte Lucas. I am an autism low in in incidence mentor teacher with Richmond Public Schools, and I am so happy to be able to work with you today. <clears throat> our math lesson today is a geometry lesson titled Using a Coordinate Plane. First, we will do vocabulary related to the topic. We will learn how, to, how the coordinate plane is used with a map. And then we will practice identifying points on the coordinate plane and plotting coordinates plane. All right, we have a lot to do, let's get started. And this is a coordinate plane. A coordinate plane starts with graph paper. And you are familiar with graph paper. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is just plain graph paper. You take the graph paper and you uh, draw your X and your Y axis and you're ready to go. So this is our coordinate plane. And the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the vocabulary re related to this plane. Okay, a coordinate plane has perpendicular lines and these lines are called axes. So this line and this line, these lines are perpendicular and they are called axes. The X axis is the horizontal line that moves left and right. The y-axis is the vertical line that runs up and down. Each axis has numbers on it. The numbers are used to, put, to locate points on the plane, okay? Each point has a number from the x-axis and a number from the y-axis, and that is called an ordered pair. An ordered pair is normally inside of a parenthesis and separated by a comma. The number for the x-axis is always listed first. You have your parenthesis, you have your number for your x-axis, comma, then x number for your y-axis, close parenthesis. We'll be seeing this in just a moment. All right, the number from the x-axis is always listed first. The number from the y-axis is listed, listed second in the pair. What is next is the point of origin. The point of origin is where both of the lines intersect. This point is zero comma zero in parentheses. And the X and the Y axis both start here. So this is zero for the X axis and it's zero for the Y axis. To the right of zero on the X axis are positive numbers. To the left of the zero on the X axis are negative numbers. On the Y axis, up from the zero on the Y axis are positive numbers. On the Y axis, down, the numbers that are going down on the Y axis have negative numbers. All right. This is called our coordinate plane, and we'll move on and see what kinds of things we can do with it. All right, what you're looking at now is a map. I'm going to make it a little bit, make it so that everyone can see it. This is a map that has had the coordinate plane graphed on top of it. And this is a, 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 coordinate, um, uh, a map of a movie theater, all right? So in the movie theater, you have theater one, which is here, theater two, a water fountain, arcade for the games, the lobby, ticket window, and the concession stand. This is the map, and on top of it is the coordinate plane. All right, now we're gonna use this to do our exercises for today. Our first set of exercises for today is, first of all, they've taken the map and they, they have plotted points on the map. We have a, plot, a point here at theater one. We have a plot here, I'm sorry, a point here at the arcade games, a point at the lobby, and a point at the concession stand. And now we get an opportunity to see what 
the audit pairs look like. Now, these are your audit pairs. They're inside of parentheses. You have two numbers. The first number is from the x-axis. The second number is from the y-axis, and they're separated by a comma. So when you're looking at your audit pairs, it will always look this way. The first number will always represent the x-axis, and the second number will always represent the y-axis. So let's read and see what we're supposed to do with this. Ryan is watching a movie at the movie theater. What are the different locations Ryan goes to at the movie theater? All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. And so I can see it. I think I'm the old one. So I need to be able to see it. Let me, let's make it a little bit bigger so that we can plot these points and see what we come up with. All right, here's our map. All right, so the first place that Brian go, Ryan goes is a point that is at these um, ordered pairs, negative five comma negative two. Negative five is the first number that will be for the X axis. Negative two is for the Y axis is the second number. Let's see what, if we can plot and find what is at negative five comma negative two. So negative five is on the X axis, the axis that goes left and right. Here's our point of origin and the first number is a negative number. So we're going to the negative numbers on the X axis. So we go to negative five. Now the second number, which is on the Y axis and the Y axis goes up and down, that second number is negative two. So the negative numbers on the y-axis are below the zero. So here they are. So we would be going down. So negative five, negative two, one, two. The point that was plotted was for the lobby. So the first place that Ryan went to, where is he? He's at the lobby. All right, let's look at the second place that Ryan goes to. These, um, Audit, this audit pair right here tells us where he is. Three comma negative two, three. Positive three comma negative three in parentheses. Now, that first number is for the X axis. The second number is for the Y axis. Let's see where that takes us. All right, three, positive three, negative three. X axis, the axis that goes left and right, that X axis, positive three. So point of origin, zero. <clears throat> positive three, one, two, three on the x axis. And now on the y axis, negative three. So if we're doing a negative number on the y axis, we will be moving down. So three, negative three, one, two, three. And that point is plotted, the concession stand. So where is Ryan at three comma negative three at those at that audit pair? He's at the concession stand. Very nice. Well, let's see where what the next point is. He's moving all around. Let's see. I have to move make this large again. His next point is four comma one. Four. The, the uh, ordered pair is four comma one. Well, the first number in the ordered pair is for the X axis. So a positive four comma a positive one, we need to find that starting with the X axis, which, which goes less, left and right. Four, a positive four would be one, two, three, four. We would start here. And now we need a positive one on the y-axis. The y-axis goes up and down. If we're here at four and we, we would move up because it's a positive one, we are at arcade games. So Ryan for the points four for the, um, the ordered pair, four, positive four, positive one, we're at the arcade game. Excellent. And his last stop is for the audit pair in parentheses, 
negative three comma positive five. The first number is always for the X axis and the second number is always for the Y axis. So let's see if we can find that as we move up to our map. The, the points are negative three, I'm sorry, the coordinates are for our ordered pair, negative three comma five. So X axis first, would be a negative three on the x-axis at our point of origin. The x-axis negative three would be to the left. So let's go to negative three. And the, the y-axis is a positive five. The y-axis, if you go down, you're going negative numbers. If you're going up, you're doing positive numbers. So it's a negative three, five. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And Ryan will be at theater one. So let's see if we can get theater one in there. Wrong place, let's put it here. Theater one. Excellent, that was very good. I feel like we learned a lot from that exercise. Let's start, try another one. This one is a little bit different. For this one, let's read what it says. We may need to make it a little bit larger. So of course, Miss Lucas can read it because I'm the one who has difficulty reading the small print. It says, Ryan is watching a movie at the movie theater. What are the different location Ryan goes to at the movie theater? Well, let's see for this one, for number one, his uh, ordered pair is negative five comma negative two. For number two, it's negative, I mean, positive, two, positive three comma negative three. Well, let's look at number one. Ryan starts at negative five comma negative two. Where is he? So let's use our map. I'll make it a little bit bigger so we won't have too much trouble seeing it. All right, for negative five and negative two, the first number is always the x-axis. Negative five on the x-axis, starting at our point of origin, we would move to the left for a negative five. Then <clears throat> a negative two, a negative number on the, on the y-axis would go down. So negative five, negative two, one, two, he is at the lobby. Excellent. Let's try our next location. For our first location, he was at the lobby. Now, Ryan goes to positive three, negative three. Where is he? Is he at the concession stand or is he at the water fountain? Let's find out. The coordinates are positive three, negative three. The first number and the ordered pair is a positive three. That's for the x-axis. Point of origin, zero, positive three, one, two, three. It would be here. The next coordinate is negative three. That's for the y-axis. The y-axis goes up and down. So if I'm here and I move down three, for the y-axis, negative three, one, two, three. Ryan is at the concession stand. For So for number two, Ryan is at the concession stand. Let's look at problem number three. Ryan goes to these coordinates, four, positive four comma positive one. That is the ordered pair, positive four comma positive one. Is he at the arcade game or is he at the lobby? Let's go back to our map. Our coordinates are, positive four, positive one. So the first number is always for the x-axis. So positive four is to the right. Let's go one, two, three, four. And then it is a positive one on the y-axis. If it's a negative number on the y-axis, we will go down. If it's a positive number on the y-axis, we will go up. So it says go up one. And when we go up one, we find that Ryan is at the arcade game. Excellent. 
Let's see what our last question is. The last one says, Ryan's last stop is, these are the audit pair, negative three comma five. Is he at the concession stand or is he at theater one? Negative three comma five. Let's see if we can locate that on our map. So negative three is the first number. That is for the x-axis, which is which goes left and right. We started out our point of origin. We move to negative three. Negative three is to the left. One, two, three. The next coordinate is five, positive five. So that means on the y-axis, that's the second number. That would be the y-axis. It wants a it asks for a positive five. We will be moving up. So negative three, positive five, let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five. And th at that point, Ryan is at theater one. So our choices were, is he at the concession stand or theater one? We say the concession stand and we are correct. Excellent. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what our next project will be. The same kind of map. We'll make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. And let's see. Let's read our problem. Let's see what's going on. Ryan is watching a movie at the movie theater. What are the different locations Ryan goes to at the movie theater? For number one, his uh, audit pair is negative five, negative two. Negative five is the first number that will be for the x-axis. So let's go back to our map. We go to our x-axis first. The first uh, ordered pair is negative five, negative two. On the x-axis, negative five, one, two, three, four, five. On the y-axis, it's a negative number, so we'll go down. One, two, Ryan is at the lobby. For our second question, it says, Ryan goes to the coordinates three, positive three comma negative three. Is he at the concession stand or at the water fountain? Let's find out. So for these coordinates, we're going to go to positive three comma negative three. So back to our point of origin, the first number is always for the X axis, which runs right and left. The first number is positive three. So we will move to the right, positive three, one, two, three. And our second number, which is for the y-axis, is a negative three. And on the y-axis, the negative numbers are go down. So we will move down three, negative three. <clears throat> one, two, three, and Ryan is at the concession stand. All right. Let's see what we have for number four. Ryan goes to the coordinates. Uh, his ordered pair is four comma one. Where is he? Positive four, <clears throat> positive one. All right. Let's see where positive four, positive one. Let's see where that is on our map. Back to our point of origin. The first number is positive four, which is on the x-axis. The x-axis runs right and left, and it is a positive four. We'll go to the right, one, two, three, four. Our next number is for the y-axis. The number is positive one. On the y-axis, we move up for a positive number. We move down for a negative number. It's a positive one, so we will move up one, and our point is the arcade game. Excellent. And he would be at the arcade game. Number four, Ryan's last stop is for the ordered pair, negative three comma five. Negative three comma five. Is he at the concession stand or is he at theater one? So let's move to our map, our coordinate plane. The, the plot is negative three positive five. X axis first, and that is a negative three. Point of origin zero, one, two, three, negative three, and then 
positive five on the y-axis. The second number is a positive five. So we will be moving up one, two, three, four, five, and Ryan is at theater one. Excellent. So it says, Ryan, is he at the concession stand or theater one? Excellent. Let's move on and let's see what they have for us now. On this one, we're going to be plotting our own points. And that sounds very exciting. That's the first time we've had an opportunity to do that ourselves. So we have four points. It's red, it's purple, it's gold, it's blue. And we will start with the red point and let's see what the, the problem says. It says, Ryan is, Ryan is watching a movie at the movie theater. Plot the locations where Ryan goes at the movie theater. So Ryan buys a ticket and it says um, the, the uh, audit pair is negative five, negative five. So it says use an orange point to plot the ticket at negative five, negative five on the map. Negative five, negative five, and we need to use an orange. So let's see what our color choices are. That looks like red, but let's make sure that that is orange. We have orange, purple, yellow, and blue. Orange, purple, yellow, and blue. So this is the color orange. That looks red to me, but I'm going to take their word for it. That is the point we'll be using. And the number that we're going to be plotting is negative five, negative five. The first number is for the x-axis. So we're going to go to negative five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the, the next number is negative five. And let's move down because on the y-axis, negative numbers, we move down. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Negative five, negative five. One, two, three, four, five. So this orange dot would be here. Excellent, we got it right. I'm giving you an applause because I was a little bit shaky there. We got that one right. Excellent job. All right, let's find out what the next window is Ryan fills up his water bottle he fills up his water bottle at these at, at this point the coordinates are the ordered pair is negative one comma two so use a purple point to plot the, the water bottle negative one two so let's this we're going to be using this dot this time it says negative one two so negative one is always the x-axis, the first number is always the x-axis and the first number is negative one comma, negative one. So the negative numbers on the x-axis are to the left. So we'll start here at negative one. Then it says for the y-axis, two, positive two. So let's move up to positive two, one, two. All right, so our purple dot will go here at that point. Excellent, I'm so excited. We have that one correct also. So our purple dot is at the coordinates for our purple dot are negative one, positive two. Excellent, all right, let's see the third one. So the third one says, number three says, Ryan sees 3D glasses at these coordinates, this ordered pair, negative five, positive four. Negative five, positive four. All right, let's plot those points and see if we can get that correct. Negative five, positive four. So we're going to be using the yellow point. Just want to make sure the yellow point is negative five positive four. X-axis first, negative five, one, two, three, four, five will be on this line right here. And the y, the number on the y-axis will be a positive, <clears throat> a positive four. So if we're positive on the y-axis, we'll be moving up. Negative five, positive four, one, two, three, four. 
Let's move our yellow. One, two, three, four. Excellent. We were able to plot that point correctly. <clears throat> and our last point that we're going to plot is Ryan sees speakers at uh, the audit pair would be positive four, positive five. And it says use the blue point to plot the speakers at positive four, positive five. So let's move up. It's our only dot that's left. Positive four, positive five. So point of origin, zero. First number, positive four. One, two, three, four. That would be right here. That's on the X axis. Now on the Y axis, moving up and down would be a positive five. Let's move up a positive five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's move our blue dot. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. We were able to plot all of those points correctly using our coordinate plane over the map of the theater. Well, we've done an excellent job today. I'm very excited about how well everything went. Maybe we'll be able to do coordinate planes again because I know that we can plot some more points and find some more things to do. So I look forward to meeting with you again and maybe doing some more coordinate planes. See you next time. Bye now.